welcome back to my channel I'm in my kitchen again it's sunny and beautiful hi guys I'm gonna do or rather try doing Hainanese chicken rice I follow a youtuber by the name of Flo Lam and in her video I saw this recipe and I got kind of excited so this is chicken one it's about one and a half kilogram I guess there's spring onions some ginger in the cavity and also a couple of garlics I'm just guessing I'm not really following the exact amount that she said but I guess it's okay Spot, so it fall. I, I do love uh, ginger and garlic. I'm tucking the wings behind the hands of the And we are slowly going to let that go into a pot of water. Uh, it's boiling over there. I'm going to wait for it to boil first and I'm just going to gently lower this into the pot here we go there's my <coughs> boiled water this without hurting myself okay there we go oh that was good and Flo said that I should bring the heat down really low and let it simmer for about 55 minutes she said my water is cloudy because I have used uh, pink Himalaya salt I had a tablespoon of Himalaya salt in the boiling water oh I forgot to say that we can actually dump a few more ginger garlic in there I don't have a lot of garlic today I'm just going to use what I have at home. Now here I have ginger and spring onion. Uh, this is supposed to go together with the Hainanese chicken rice. And what I saw Flo do was she did heat up oil and then she poured it into that spring onion and ginger. It's hot enough. <coughs> the oil is hot enough. Oh, look at that. Oh, my, oh, my. Aha, this is what she meant. I think that's enough. Oh, shall I take that off? I suppose that's enough. That was some canola oil. Some people call it rapeseed oil. Wow, it does smell good. It really brings the flavor out. It's really good. It's done. This is some skin from the chicken. This is just to get some fat from the chicken. Because this is something that's going to add flavor to our rice. I have, I have different kinds of rice here. This is Thai sweet rice. In here I have a basmati, and here I have my jasmine rice. We're gonna use jasmine rice today. This is the oil that I got. I think it's about like half a tablespoon from the chicken. But I do need to add a little bit more oil. in there. I'm going to raise my heat to medium high.
wrong step, wrong step. I should have put in my garlic first. Uh, there goes my oil again. I should, I should have put in the garlic first, guys. Oh, guys. I missed it. Where's my, I put it in my root. I was thinking that I was missing a step. Uh, well, well. Not too bad, not too bad. Trial and error. I'm going to gently let it rest in this real icy cold water so that it will stop the cooking process. while I'm doing my cooking my rice. It's in my rice cooker. I have three cups of rice and I have almost six cups of water. I tend to use one to two ratio. That's what works for me. Okay, let's see if we can do what she did. She actually did cut the chicken just so we can find that. My hand is clean by the way, guys. to debone it, that's what she did, you know, she deboned it. I'm just going to do like this and my husband can remove the skin. I'm just waiting for the rice to cook. Our rice is ready. So is our chicken. I have sprinkled some white pepper on it and I have uh, drizzled it with uh, two tablespoons of light soy sauce and two tablespoons of sesame oil. Here we go. I want to give you two pieces of breast meat. And this is supposed to be uh, the highlight, it seems. Ginger and spring onion. <laughs> 